Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And, uh, well, a lot of people are asking me uh, because they're worried that they don't see the page in their Windows 10 operating system that, you know, ask them if you want to have the extended security updates to stay protected. And um, because they saw my video and um, a lot of people don't take the time to really listen to videos because obviously all of that was answered in the video. Uh, but I'll say it again here. Uh, it's very simple. If you're on the insider rings, you probably already see it, that it's asking you if you want to have extended security updates to stay protected. And it gives you, of course, different choices, free choices. Uh, sync your device with the cloud. And no, it doesn't require a OneDrive um, subscription or anything. A lot of people said, yeah, you got to uh, you got to subscribe to. No, just sync your data. Don't even sync. You don't even have to sync your um, files. Just have Windows sync the settings. And that's all. It's all that's required. And uh, yeah, that, of course, does require a Microsoft account which I see absolutely no problem in having. Uh, the other option is if you have um, some reward points, and once again, uh, people saying that, uh, well, you know, I got a reward points, so I won't take a Microsoft account. Well, if you got a report, re reward points, I got a news for you. You have already a Microsoft account because it's the only way to get the reward points. So that these two options are free. If you have one of the two that is uh, compatible, that is okay with the extended support, you'll see that it won't even ask you a, a nothing. It, it might just move on and say it's fine. That's because you already met the minimum for that. If you've got none of those, then yeah, there's a 30 US dollar one year extended and uh, that is going to be a different price depending on what country you are around the world, um, of course, because that 30 US dollars will be uh, in your local currency. So whatever that amount will be uh, will show up. And uh, for those that say, hey, I don't see it, I, I'm scared, I'm, I'm worried because now I haven't seen it yet, this is rolling out. It's not yet rolling out to regular people. If you're a standard user, not an insider or nothing, no one sees this yet. This will show up at the latest mid August for everyone. So if you're on a Windows 10 machine that has um, not no possibility of upgrading to Windows 11, you'll see this. Now, some of you have asked, my machine is compatible with Windows 11, but I don't want to move to Windows 11. What's going to happen? Um, I'm not sure on that one, because uh, I've seen people say that they've been actually pushed to Windows 11 without really doing anything. They just restarted the PC one day, and they were on Windows 11 because they were forced to, and that's possibly what could happen. Um, I don't know if you're still on Windows 10 and can get Windows 11, what is going to pop up? Is there some kind of hybrid window that says you can have support for another year of Windows 10 or you can move on to Windows 11? But I suspect that Microsoft will want to push you to Windows 11 directly and um, have you jump over this extended support. So. Uh, that's that's a good one. If you guys are in that situation, you have Windows 10, your machine is compatible with Windows 11, uh, let me know what happened to you. If you've been pushed to Windows 11 without, you know, one day you just turned on your PC and there you go, you were on Windows 11. Or did you get, or will you have some kind of um, hybrid window that's going to ask you what you want to do, stay on 10 with extended support or not? So that's what's going to happen. So don't worry, guys. If you don't see it, it's not going to be there probably at least before uh, Patch Tuesday of August and even mid-August. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.